Dr. Waldman, MD, PhD, is the chair of the Department of Imaging Sciences and a professor in the Department of Imaging Sciences at the University of Rochester Medical Center, URMC, in Rochester, New York. Dr. Waldman is board certified in vascular and interventional radiology, as well as diagnostic radiology. Dr. Waldman sits on Boston Scientific's Interventional Oncology Medical Advisory Board. These materials are intended to describe typical considerations and procedural steps that reflect current standards of care. Patients and their medical circumstances vary, and the information and procedural steps described may not be appropriate for every patient or case. As always, decisions surrounding procedural care must be made at the physician's discretion in light of all available information and the patient's best interests. Similarly, BSC product considerations are based solely on the author's experience and may not be interpreted or relied upon to support clinical or competitive product claims. The experiences of other users may vary. The patient initially presented with pancreatic cancer and an indwelling internal biliary drainage catheter. The patient was prepped in the supine position on the procedural table. Note the stringy appearance of the bile as it flows from the drainage catheter hub. This is typical for bile. Contrast is injected through the catheter and the collection system is visualized under fluoroscopy. The contrast injection reveals several biolomas, small collections of bile, and the presence of a wall stent metallic biliary stent. Note how the biliary drainage catheter was inserted through the interstices of the stent. The biliary catheter was most likely inserted as an internal drain after the metallic stent failed to maintain biliary patency. The suture retaining the catheter to the skin is cut and removed. The catheter hub is removed. This allows the suture and the locking pigtail to release. An O35 guide wire is inserted through the catheter and the catheter pigtail is straightened out and the catheter is removed. Note the discolored green appearance of the indwelling catheter upon its removal. This is the result of the bile and digestive enzymes upon the catheter over time. A vascular sheath is inserted over the guide wire into the patient. Contrast is injected through this sheath to help opacify the biliary system. Under fluoroscopy, I am able to confirm that contrast can flow down the stent into the duodenum. A 10 French Flexima biliary drainage catheter is prepped in accordance with the manufacturer's directions for use. The lumen is flushed with saline and the outer hydrophilic coating is activated by immersing the catheter in saline. Since we are doing a biliary catheter exchange, I prefer to use the flexible stiffening cannula. For initial biliary catheter insertions, I start with the metallic stiffener until I get to the bend in the biliary duct. I then exchange the metal stiffener for the plastic stiffening cannula. 
If I try to advance the catheter around the bend without any cannula, the catheter tends to buckle upon itself. Although this is a biliary catheter exchange, I am upsizing the catheter from 8 French to 10 French to promote additional drainage. As a result, the size increase, the patient will feel some temporary discomfort upon insertion of the catheter. The catheter system is advanced over the guide wire into the biliary system. The radio opacity of the flexima catheter material allows us to visualize the catheter under fluoroscopy. Upon visual confirmation of the correct placement of the distal pigtail within the collection, the cannula is unlocked and removed. The guide wire is removed and the suture is gently pulled to fully form the locking pigtail. The key is used to actuate the hub to the locked position. This locks the pigtail in place, at which point scissors are used to cut the suture flush with the hub. To secure the catheter and prevent migration, I suture around the catheter and the patient's skin. I then inject some additional contrast to ensure the most proximal side hole is located correctly in the collection. This also ensures the distal side hole is properly placed. The drainage catheter will be hooked to a connector tube and the exit site will be dressed with an antibiotic ointment, gauze, and a tegaderm.